Girl Scouts. My name is Betsy Nichols. I am a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part one of four for the media journey, which is also known as the cadet. It's your story, tell it journey. Before we dive in, let's get started with the Girl Scout promise and law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So, like I said, this journey is called Media. It's for cadets, and it is all about how we see ourselves, how we see the people around us and the world around us, especially through the lens of social media. So, um, over the next four weeks, we will be completing a sample of um, some of the activities that are in the facilitator guide and in the um, girl book. Um, so today we are going to get started with a um, making our own director's viewfinder. Now this is a very simple activity. All you need is um, a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. Um, you can even roll up a piece of paper. And then what we're doing is you are going to trace the... Um, circumference of your toilet paper roll and you're going to end up with a circle and then what you'll do then is draw a little rectangle on the inside of the circle. Um, after you've done that we're going to cut it out but leave just a little bit of space around it. Kind of looks like a drawing of a sun right now. Um, give it a nice little wide perimeter because what we're going to do with that is, this is the one that I've made, um, we're going to center the circle on the end of our toilet paper roll and then um, if you can glue or tape down the edges of the circle. Um, so I've even put the lines right there are lines that I cut along to try to get it as smooth to the toilet paper roll as possible. And so then what we're going to do with our director's viewfinders is I want you to go about your day, go about your afternoon or your evening, and I want you to look at things through your viewfinder. And I want you to look around and freeze on certain, on different things. And I want you to think about what beauty do you find in those items that you just froze on. Um, Maybe it is a pet that is sleeping on the couch. Maybe it is um, a stack of folded laundry and, it's, and you think it's beautiful because it's clean and organized. Um, maybe it is, you know, your parents making dinner. Maybe it's something that you see on a walk outside. Um, there's lots of beauty to be found around us. And I want you to just take a moment and focus in on those things that you find beautiful. Now, if you do not have um, anything that you can physically make this out of, another alternative is to just make a viewfinder with your fingers and throw it around. See what you can find. See if there's any beautiful patterns that you can find, any um, you know, beautiful greenery and plants. Um, there's a lot of beauty around us, and so my first challenge to you is to find the beauty around you. All right, the next activity that we're going to look at um, with this journey is called diversifying beauty. And so my challenge for you for this one is to maybe have like a little post-it note or a little notepad, a little piece of paper with you. Um, while you are, you know, if you're watching TV with your family, if you're, you know, watching videos online, or if you have any social media accounts, have that piece of paper with you. And I want you to write down the different advertisements 
that you see. And I want you to write down what it's for. Um, how did they advertise it? Did they have people in the advertisement? Kind of what what format did, uh, was the advertisement in? And then I want you to ask yourself, you know, how does how how do I feel about seeing this advertisement? Um, a lot of times, you know, there's these different products. There's you know face soap or shampoo or different makeup, and these items are you know they claim to make your life better. They try to make you feel happy. They try to make you um, you know it's supposed to make you feel better about yourself. And so my question for you is. Do those items really do that? You know, what do you do for yourself? Like talking to your friends or taking a bicycle ride or walking a dog. What do you do that makes you feel good? Are you seeing advertisements for that on social media, on the TV, online? Um, and I also want you to think about if there's people in these advertisements, how are they being portrayed? You know, is, um, if there's an advertisement for, you know, something that goes in the kitchen, like different cooking appliances, who's trying to sell that? Is it, you know, a woman? Is it a mother? Who is, who is the target audience in these? And, you know, when you think about how these people are being portrayed, you know, maybe, a lot of these advertisements are only putting women in the kitchen or maybe they're only putting women in the household doing household stuff. Is that what life is like for all the women you know? Or, you know, how are senior citizens being shown in different advertisements? Is that true for every senior citizen you know? Or even with kids your age? Are the kids your age that you're seeing on the TV, on the internet, are they, are their lives exactly like your lives? Is that completely consistent across the board? So that's something that I want you to think about and something that um, I want you to consider. So those are the two things that we are going to talk about um, today. Like I said, we're going to be focusing on social media stuff and how we see ourselves and the world around us for this um, whole journey. So we will be doing stuff um, around the same topic for the uh, remainder of our meetings, but I will leave it there. And I just want to thank you so much uh, for spending some time with me today. And I hope you're healthy and well, and I hope you tune in next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you later, Girl Scouts. Bye.